Hi, it's me again with Corel Dog Tips and Tricks. I made a couple of videos before. I made a video recently, and I stated in that video that I could not stand the contour tool. Well, I can stand it. I just never used it. The contour tool that's right here underneath your drop flap because you have to drag your contour, and you don't really know the dimensions. Much, I'm going to go through the other docker. But somebody... Gave me a tip that I never thought about. If you wanted to make a one inch contour four times, just put in the number one and hit enter. So I've got one inch contours four times. I didn't have to stretch it. It automatically did it to whatever contour I wanted. So if I got it, if I set it on 10 and then make it a two inch contour, so every contour is two inches away and there's 10 of them. So I normally, uh, I will probably start using this feature more, um, but I still like, and it's kind of, the, it's really the same thing. If you go to Windows, Docker's Contour, or excuse me, go to, um, well, what am I thinking? No, excuse me, go to Effect and Contour and open up the Docker. You're doing the same thing. All you have to do is set it on one inch, 10 times hit apply. So it's the same thing. It has those same windows, but I guess I never had even thought about it. So if you're a subscriber, you know, I used to always think you had to drag. Well, I never thought about it. You could just type in the number you want to contour and just make sure you're going to the inside or outside and how many steps you want before you change the deal. So we can make it five contours and it's going to make it just five. Anyway, so I think that viewer subscriber for kind of teaching me that and I thought I'd share that along. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.